Hello students, this is Kathy Sutton with SLCC's online media team. Today we're going to talk about recording audio using Capture Space, which is part of the Kaltura suite, and it is found in Canvas. So what you need to do is log on to the Canvas course where you need to record audio for your assignment. Once you get there, you should see My Media over in the left-hand navigation menu. Click on My Media. If it's not there, you need to contact your instructor and they will place it in the navigation menu. So, if you've never used or put anything in My Media before, you won't have a list of items like I do. So once you get to My Media, you should see a blue button with a drop down arrow that says add new. Go ahead and click on that and then you will see some options. We're going to use the capture space option so click on capture space. Now if you have never used Kaltura capture space desktop recorder before you will have the option to download it for Windows or for Mac. If you have used it before just wait and the Kaltura Capture Space window will pop up for you. So you can see that we have four options here. Today we are focusing on the voice option. So once you get to this window, go ahead and click on voice. Now the recording is going to start automatically. It's counting down. We're recording now. So this is a test recording of Kaltura Capture Space desktop recorder. Now you can pause, you can resume, but once you're finished go ahead and click done. So it does an immediate preview of what you've recorded and there are some very elementary basic editing tools in here but they're really really basic. So right now we're going to click on done and then this gives us a place where we can add the title. So if you're in class you're probably going to want to have your name and whatever the assignment is. You can add a description if you want. Now you can save it and it will go to your library as you can see here but it hasn't been uploaded. You need to upload it. Um, you can upload it by clicking upload now and it's going to add it into your My Media. Now it took us back to that same window so you just have to click upload here down at the bottom the blue arrow pointing up. Okay, so now it's telling us where it's going to be. And basically it's saying it's going to be in your My Media. So let's click Close. And I'm going to close this window as well. You sure you want to exit? Yes, okay I do. And then I'm going to click on My Media to get back to that list of media. Now, it ha it's not showing up yet, but don't panic, it will it takes a minute or two for it to show up. You can see up here there's a refresh button. You can click on that. There it is. Okay. So that's how you get audio into your media. So it's my media meaning it, it only applies to you. Private means that no one can see it but you at this point. Now if your instructor has said that he or she wants your audio to be put in the media gallery for the course, what you can do is you can click on the box beside the audio file that you made and then up here in actions you can do the drop down and click on publish. Select the publish radio dial here and then wait. It'll take a little bit for this to load. It's going to load every course that you're associated with. So all you need to do now is look for the course that you are completing this assignment for and I'm just going to use the one that I'm in right now for me. 
and then click save. It says it media successfully published and if you go to media gallery now for your course as soon as that loads you're going to see your audio file. So that's one way to do it. Okay, and here is another way to record audio for an assignment. While you're in your course, click on Assignments and go to the assignment, whatever it's called, where you know that you need to record some audio. Click on that assignment. I'm just calling this Record Audio. Now click on the Submit Assignment button. Here it's going to let you record right here in the assignment or you can upload media. So you can click on it and you can name it. You'll have to allow for your uh, camera or microphone. I'm going to deny the camera and then I'm going to click on microphone and I'm going to allow the microphone. And up here at the top, it's saying that SLCC wants to use my micro and microphone or camera. I'm just going to say allow. So now it says click anywhere to start recording. So I'm going to na name this Kathy Sutton Audio. Hi, this is a test for doing assignment, recording right within the assignment an audio that I need to do. Hi, this is a test for doing assignment, recording right within the assignment, an audio that I need to do. So if I like that, I can click on save and it saves the recording. So I can submit the assignment right there. So the third way you can do this is to upload a file that you've already made on your computer or on your phone whichever device you're using to record. So you would click on the name of the assignment. You would click Submit Assignment. You would click Record Upload Media. And instead of Record Media tab, you want to click on the Upload Media tab. Then you can select the audio file. We're not doing video in this um, tutorial. You can select Audio File and it's going to let you browse your computer to find what you're looking for. So I'm just going to pick something. I don't even know what this is, but it doesn't matter. Um, and again, it's looks like you're going to be able to upload waves, MP3s. Most likely it will be an MP3. Don't choose any uh, or don't save your recordings on your device in any obscure format. Make it something that's pretty across the board. So MP3 would be my file of choice. So there it is. As soon as I click the blue submit assignment button here, it will send that to the instructor. I'll click it and so you can see what, what happens next. All right, so if you look up here in the corner, it says submission turned in and tells you when you turned it in. Uh, the submission details. Uh, you can listen to it again. And then if you found out you did it wrong um, and the teacher lets you or you still have time, you can actually resubmit. And that is all. All right. If you have any questions, contact your instructor or um, the help desk or the media department. Thanks. Bye.